We're going to go and enter into his courts with praise. Just as Psalms 100 verse 4 says, we're going to sit there and come, Jesus. God, we go ahead and welcome you into this place, Lord. We go ahead and thank you. We're going to do just as Psalms 100 verse 4 says, God, we're going to enter into your gates with praise and into your courts with thanksgiving, Jesus. We go ahead and give you praise. We're going to bless your holy name, God. We go ahead and give you praise. We thank you. We welcome you into your house, Jesus. And we thank you for what you're going to do in this service, Lord. I pray you touch each and every one of us, God, but we are here for you because without you, we can do nothing, John 15, 5, God. And we thank you, Jesus. Thou hast granted me life and favor, Jesus. I thank you for my life. I thank you for the many blessings and favor on my life. But Jesus, it's your visitation that hath preserved our spirit. God, we thank you for your presence, God. And we ask for you and your Holy Spirit to come down into here, into your house, Lord. God, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, in Acts 12, God, Peter, it said he was in prison. Said he was in prison. But it was the prayer of the church unto God that saved him, Lord. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God. Lord, we are a church unto you. God, we understand that chains will begin to break. We understand souls will be set free when we are a praying church that prays unto you, Lord. And we are here to seek you and to hear your words, Lord. Because again, just like an act. 6 verses 4 God the disciple said that their prayer our prayer was made continuously God they continuously prayed and God I understand how Stephen was called a man full of faith and a few scriptures like he was a full of faith and the full of the Holy Ghost God when we fully become a church under God a church that knows how to pray unto you, Jesus. We become full of faith. God, we become full of the Holy Ghost. Because it's that. It's you, you who comes and fills the house and then fills us, Jesus. God, I pray for your Holy Ghost to come down, Jesus. God, have your way in this house tonight, this morning, God. We go ahead and give you praise and we thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to be here. God, we thank you for coming just to be here with us because where two or three are gathered together in your name, God, you are in the midst, Jesus. We understand that you are here with us, Jesus. We are here to seek after you, Jesus. And God, we go ahead and give you praise, God, because again, without you, we cannot do nothing. We are here for you, Jesus. God, I go ahead and plead the blood over each and every soul that's in here this morning, God. And I pray we have and attend our full attention unto you, Jesus, without distracting, without distractions God we are not to be distracted this morning because we are here for you Jesus we are here to thank and bless your name but God what better way than we can praise you with our mouths and prayer but also just by attending unto your words and what you're going to say this morning Jesus we go ahead and give you praise God and we thank you thank you for what you're going to do in this service this morning Jesus and we go ahead and plead the blood of what's going to come Jesus and to Jesus be the glory amen Amen. Praise God. Are y'all ready to have some church this morning? I said, are y'all ready to have some church this morning? That's more like it. Again, see, that's the whole key. No matter what, it's just simply doing, we're coming back to the roots. We're coming all the way back to the roots where it all started. We sit here and see it. Preaching the kingdom of God and teaching those things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence. No man forbidden him. Because prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God. Acts 12, 5. That's it. We are a church unto God, but we have to learn to come unto God in prayer. Man, if we become a praying church again, church, like I said, again, it was what Peter was in prison. He was chained up. But it says, but, man, I love them divine butts. See, God, God likes divine butts. Y'all stay with me, stay in spiritual now. See, here's the thing, it says, but prayer was made without ceasing. I mean, it didn't stop. Of the church unto God. That's why it's so important we come and seek after God and pray unto him. Because there are things that we don't even see. God begins to break chains outside of these four walls. 
We don't limit God, but we are trying to get God to come here with us right now. And let me tell y'all something. He's here. He's here. He's been here. Y'all give him praise like he's here. Amen. We serve a living God. See, David said in Psalms 42, he says, as a heart panteth after the water books, so does my soul panteth after thee, O God. Then he continues, he said, my soul thirsteth for God. But he doesn't stop there. He says, for the living God. How many know we serve a living God? He died, but he rose again three days later. Amen. And he is alive forevermore. Amen. He's alive. He's alive. Can we go ahead and praise him that he's alive? And he's coming again. But then he says, I make my prayer unto the God of my life. Is he your life this morning? Is he your life? Make him your life is he, if he's not your life. But that's why we are here. We're here to pray, seek after God, give him praise, and attend unto his words so that we can go out and do what he has called us to do, and that's to preach and teach the kingdom of God. Anything that concerns Jesus Christ. That's what we're here for. But again, no man forbidden him. Nobody stopped him. Nobody's going to stop this word of God. Nobody's going to stop this gospel from going out and reaching out. Amen. We know one thing. One thing that's determined when Jesus is going to return. It's the only thing we know. And it relies on what we do. It says as soon as this gospel, the word of God has reached every entire soul, the son of man will return. What are we going to do about it? That's our part. Jesus is telling him, his return relies on me and you. We got to sit there and preach and teach the kingdom of God so that he can come on back. Are you ready for him to come back? Yes. Well, then preach and teach the word of God and seek him and be a church unto God that knows how to pray. Amen. Yes. We need him more than anything. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let's have some fun. Some joyful fun in church this morning. Amen. Let's give him everything we got. Let's praise him with our whole heart. Let's seek him with our whole hearts. To Jesus be the glory. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world as a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. Matthew 24, verse 14. What Pastor Dylan just said is a living reality. That's why we're connected to the church. We're connected to the preaching. Amen. Praise God. The proclaiming of this gospel. Anything that concerns, because that's what his church exists for, as a platform to proclaim, thus saith the word of the Lord. Amen. Somebody say, we're here here for a lot of things but we're here for the main thing and that is to hear the word preached come on somebody hallelujah because it ain't church if it ain't preaching well brother we got to see people get saved well first corinthians 1 21 said god's chosen the foolishness of preaching to save them that'll believe friend i'll tell you we're living in a superficial soothsaying new day a new age time amen that a lot of people thinks well we got to seek and save the lost but they want to do it without preaching somebody say there's no such thing as winning people to the lord without preaching the word of god friend it's still god's method of how he saves those that'll believe and it's not always through that uh, uh, preaching uh, that you necessarily, amen, praise God, are accustomed to. Somebody say he chooses the foolishness of preaching. That word foolish just means strange. Come on, somebody. Praise God. Peculiar preaching. Amen. And somebody say that's how he saves. Praise God. We got to hear the word because there's no faith to believe in God if we hadn't heard the word of faith concerning God. Amen. How are we going to hear without a preacher? And how are they going to call on him whom they've not believed, Romans 10 says. Somebody ought to lift your hands and praise him. That He's coming, but the gospel's going to be preached. 
See, every time a preacher preaches the word of God, but come on somebody, by faith in the spirit, somebody shout, that means we're getting just that closer to his coming. It is at the door. It is at hand. I'm going to stay connected to preaching. I'm going to stay connected to the church that's preaching the gospel, that's declaring the word of God, because those are the ones that are going to be rapture ready. Those are the ones in the end times that are going to end up when he appears in the clouds. Come on, and we get caught up from this world. Oh, somebody give him praise today for his word. Give him praise for the preaching of his word. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Lord, and I still believe those that are prepared for your soon imminent return are those that are connected to the preaching of your word, the preaching of your kingdom. Because God, if your word's going to be preached and then the end's going to come, Lord, those who are going to end and make it to the end that endure to the end, they are those who are connected to the word of God that's being preached. Because in verse 13 of Matthew 24, you said, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. Then verse 14 says, in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world as a witness to all nations. Oh, and then the end shall come. So Lord, if we're going to endure, not just enjoy, but endure, a lot of folks won't be able to endure because they think they're just supposed to enjoy all the time. But if we're going to endure to the end, Lord, we must be connected to the preaching of the gospel of this kingdom, this word from heaven, your word, who you are, because your name's called the word of God, Revelation 19 and 13. And if we'll stay connected to the preaching of the word, we'll see souls saved. You said in Mark 1 39 that Jesus preached in their synagogues and cast out devils. If we stay connected to the preaching of the word, we'll see demons evicted out of people. That's a, that's equivalent to saying people are getting saved. They're not just being forgiven. They're getting delivered from the demonic and the darkness. And Jesus did it through preaching. Jesus, you confirmed the word. Your apostles you sent as they preached it. You worked with that word that was preached with signs following. Mark 16 and 20. Lord, if we're going to see miracles, signs, and wonders, the word must be preached. Paul did not tell Timothy, just go and sing a song. No, he said in 2 Timothy 4 to preach the word in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke with all long suffering and doctrine, for the time will come when they'll not endure sound doctrine, but heap after their lust, having itchy ears, their own teachers, their selective hearing. Oh, they'll be choosing their own teachers instead of listening to the one God chose and anointed. And Lord, we know as according to 2 Timothy 4, 2, 3 that we just quoted, Holy Ghost, we're living in that very moment. Oh, where many can't even endure the word. How are they going to endure this world to the end when you come and be saved if they can't even endure the sound doctrines, the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm amazed at your word today and we praise you for your word and we give you glory today. Oh, Jesus preached the word. Jesus was a preacher. He was the preacher of all preachers. And Jesus, you're still a preacher. Yes, you're the son of God. Yes, you're the Messiah, the sent one, the anointed one, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, John 1, 29. But let us be reminded, Jesus was also a preacher. Hallelujah. And Lord, you came to speak and to preach and to teach. Hallelujah. And Lord, that's why signs and wonders and miracles happen. Oh, hallelujah. You perform the words you preach. And I praise you today. There'll be no lack of that if we'll believe. You'll perform what you say. Come on. He hastens. He watches over his word to perform it. John 1, or excuse me, Jeremiah 1, 12. Thank you, Lord. You're going to do what you say. If we'll just do what you tell us to do, Lord, we'll see those things you have said come to pass in Jesus, Jesus, mighty name.